from the white trashiest, transvestitiest, incestiest, he, she, lesbo, homo, slutto, strippo, crackheadiest place on earth. Chicago. Woohoo! The home of the Jerry Show. Can I get some love over here? No, I mean, we're almost in Chicago, Mike, and this was the day we were supposed to reach the Pacific Ocean, the end of the Lewis and Clark Trail. Who? Lewis and Clark, Mike. That's why we came out here to begin with, to follow their trail. Oh, yeah, them. Whatever. The point is, I decided I'm going to call my dad, tell him the truth. Yep, I'm going to say, Dad, I lost your car and about $30,000 worth of camping equipment. And today is the day. Yeah. Well, you don't think I'll do it, do you? No, because you've started every day for the last three weeks exactly the same way. Yeah, Mike, it's about time I face the old man once and for all. Today's the day. I decided something, Mike. Today's the day. Today's the day, my friend. The day. The day. The day. 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 Today really is the day. Ha ha ha. Now where, oh, where have I ever heard that before? Oh, shut up, Mike. I'm getting this monkey off my back. And you know what? I'm feeling pretty damn good about it. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm Gary. Today's the day. Listen up, Daddy. I got something to say. Oh yeah, I'm Gary. Ah! Oh damn! What? Something just stung the inside of my mouth. Man, you okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Come on, lady, we've been here 20 minutes already. His head's gonna pop if we don't see a doctor like Stat. They are all extremely busy right now. There's a deadly virus running rampant through this hospital. Really? Mm-hmm. It's got a lot of fever, baby. <laughs> Come on. Oh, Mother, the arm's completely numb now. Don't worry, honey. This is the best hospital in the county. <laughs> That's the third one this hour, Mike. Relax, Puffy. I've heard this is the best hospital in the county. Hey, Rita, I hope you got your lotto tickets already, because it's up to 97 million and the lines are insane! Hey, hey, are you a doctor? Not if these tickets pay off, kiddo. I need you to look at my friend over there. His head, it's the size of Rosie O'Donnell's. Oh, my God! He's going into anaphylactic shock! Code three! <laughs> Dad? Gary? Where's my SUV? It was stolen. What do you mean, stolen? We were held up at gunpoint. They got everything, Dad. They, they even took our clothes, so... I didn't finish the trail. I see. Well, son... I'm pleased that you found enough courage to come back and tell me to my face, man to man. Really, Dad? You mean that? Yes, I do, son. Unfortunately, this confirms what I've believed for some time now. That you are a complete and utter failure, and that my very own progeny represents everything I detest in this world. If only I could turn back time and stop your conception! <gasps> Dear God, please help me to stop the evil! I got the beat! The beat! <sighs> Gary, you're back! Oh, thank God! Back from where? You were in a coma for almost five months. Oh, my God! Hey, 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 it's okay. They haven't reached Illinois yet. They? They who? The bee people, man! They feed on humans! They're coming! They're coming! Oh my god, they're coming! They're coming! <laughs> they're coming! <laughs> I got ya! <you. laughs> what? <Fucker. laughs> yeah, they have a priceless cody people! <laughs> Come on, man! Well, back to the transplant. <laughs> oh, 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 real funny, oh, Mike! Oh, I'm freaking oh, out here! Hey, relax there, Rosie. You're only up for half an hour, going on and on about your dad and bees. It was a nightmare, Mike. It scared the crap out of me. All right, look, Gary, you got to confront your dad or it's going to eat you up inside. I used to freak out, too, when my old man was coming down on me. 
Then one day, I got up the courage to stand up to him. Uh, Dad, I know this might not be the best time, but I'm 13 now, and you need to treat me with more respect. Fine, fine. Just call my lawyer, son, okay? Call my lawyer. And I want the car for the weekend, full tank. Okay. Remember to flush all the toilet. And I knew I won't have to stand up to him again for another one to four years. What if my nightmare comes true, Mike? I mean, what if he goes berserk? Or, or what if he hates me forever? All right, you get a grip, Gary. You need to deal in reality. If your goal is to make things better with your daddy, you have to work hard to get there. You can't just live on fantasies and dreams. Give me 70 lottery tickets, please. All right. Thanks for understanding, Dad. If a father and son don't have trust, Donnie, <laughs> then they have nothing. That's it. Here we go. Today is the day. Newton residence. No. Oh. Oh. Sugar Mikey lies. Oh, great. That's it for the computer. Hey, what are you talking about? It broke. No more tickets. Oh, this is just perfect. This morning my dad dies, now this. This was my night, you bastard. You better find some more tickets. Go to him. Yeah. Get him. Come on. Get that ticket. You want some of this? A riot began in downtown Chicago this afternoon when a single quick-pick ticket computer terminal was vandalized, causing a network-wide crash of the state lottery ticketing system. Oh, man, it's nothing but this riot stuff. I can't stand all this meaningless violence. So now you know. Your boyfriend's got a vagina. Cool. It's Jerry, man. When we return, twins Loretta and Lynn say their husbands, Marv and Albert, are cheating on them. See what happens when the girls give the boys an ultimatum. Could you please turn that down? I'm trying to work. Oh, yeah. How's it going, man? Dear Dad, by the time you read this letter, I will already be dead. No. Come on, stop making yourself miserable and check out Jerry, man. See, no matter how bad you feel, you can just look at his guests and say, at least I'm not one of them. Now let's get down there and pick up our tickets for tomorrow's show, bro! Yeah, you go ahead. I gotta finish this. Dear Dad, this may come as a surprise, but I'm gay. Ha ha, just kidding. Now that you're smiling, everything's been stolen. Oh, damn it, no. Can I help you? Yes, you can, ma'am. You can fulfill my destiny. I don't get off till nine. Uh, no, no, no. I, I mean, I need tickets for tomorrow's show. Oh, sorry, we're all sold out. Oh, man. Well, when can I get tickets? At June 25th. I guess I could wait. 2003. Oh, you got to be yanking my chain. I told you I don't get off till nine. I can't take any more bad news, prunes. We've been on the road forever, and, and we've had nothing but horrible luck. Oh, really? How horrible? Incredibly horrible. We were following the Lewis and Martin trailing up was radiation this... poisoning. And if that's not bad enough, there was this so guy, guy holding us a Gary's dad's car, mm -hmm. all his gear, and then leaves They're us naked, in the They've lost everything. And this Gary kid is so freaked out he hasn't told his dad about it yet. And with good reason. I mean, Pops is a real loose cannon, Jeremy. Yeah. He's a nom vet. He's on medication, prone to violence. We're looking at a severe beating at least. We get lucky homicide slash suicide. Perfect. Perfect finale for the live Father's Day special. Bump the midget crack horse and fly the kid's dad in. We'll shoot this baby tomorrow. Done. What's our angle? We'll tell the kids they're coming on to tell their uh, crazy stories from the road, huh? <laughs> yeah. I agree. Yeah, that's great. That's great. <laughs> and get this, Jerry. We tell the dad the show's honoring. Father and son, American heroes. I knew it, Mother. Lewis and Clark brought Gary and I together. But who would have guessed it would be on national TV? Oh, man, you won't believe it. We're not going to see the show. We're going to be the show, man. Yeah, yeah, whatever. How about this one? Dear Dad. 
First a little joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? I don't know. I don't know who. I don't know who has your car, camping gear, or my self-esteem. Orange, you glad I wrote? Come on, man. Didn't you hear what I just said to you? We're guests on Jerry, man. And all we have to do is tell crazy stories from the road. I can't go on TV, Mike. What? If you don't go on the show, then guess what? I don't go on the show. Please, Gary, I'm begging you, friend, buddy. Okay, please. what if my dad sees me? Where are you, man? They're gonna dig out your face and warp your voice. Oh, come on. No, no, it works. My dad's been on cops like four times, and he's still coaching girls' soccer. Gary Unfair to Midget Crack Horse! 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 Oh, ho, this is it, Gare, where all the magic happens. Then yank and rip your nails across the face. Good. Unbelievable. Just say it, Gary. At least I'm not one of... You must be Gary, Road Warrior, right? Uh, hi, nice... <laughs> I'm Greg Silva, Jerry's producer, and we are all so super psyched that you're here. Hey, can I get you anything? I just want to be sure that you pixelate my face and change my voice. No problem, Gary. Let's be sure, okay? Yes. Miso Hungry Takeout. Can I take your order, please? We got the pixelator all ready to go? Yo, stop calling here! You call all the time! Terrific. Consider it done, Gary. Now let's get you studs into makeup. Okay, lots of hatred people in five, four, three, two. Thank you, thank you very much. Hey, welcome to the show. My first guests are thrill seekers out on the road engaging in dangerous activity that could lead to some disastrous consequences. <laughs> and according to Mike and Gary, that's just the way they like it. So, how's it going, boys? Man, I am so psyched. You rock, you genius <laughs> Sorry, Jerry, I just always wanted to do that, you know. Great, great, that's great. So, uh, Gary, wild times out on the road, huh? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Now, Mike told us about a uh, bowling alley incident. Oh, yeah, that was kind of funny. Um, you see, the owners ran out of shoes, so they let me bowl in my socks. But every time I threw the ball, I wound up halfway down the lane, I swear. Because uh, my, the, my, they were so slippery. Um, uh. Uh-huh. Was this before or after your dad's car was stolen? What? Yeah, well, Mike tells us you got completely cleaned out. You told him that? Uh, yeah, but I didn't think he'd use any of it. Could we please talk about something else? I don't know. I think we're interested in this. How'd he take the news, Gary? Well, he, he was glad that I was okay. Well, that's great to hear, because we've got your father, Sergeant Major Gary Clark Newton Sr., here with us backstage in our soundproof. be very proud of your son. Yes, Jerry. Uh, I, I just wanted to say that when Gary left to follow the Lewis and Clark trail, well, he took a little bit of me with him. I must admit I wasn't sure he could make it, but sitting here on national television seeing that Gary pulled through with flying colors, well, it makes me about the proudest man alive. That's wonderful, sir. Just wonderful. Well, one thing I'd like to know, though, is what that little rat turd of a friend of his is doing here. Hey, Mr. Ray! <laughs> Mike's been traveling with Gary from the get-go. Didn't he tell you? No, he didn't! You were supposed to travel the trail alone! Gee, I guess Gary hasn't been completely honest with you, sir. Just what the hell is going on here? Oh, oh, oh. Spit it out! 
job, boy! Well, we were... Yes! Robbed. Robbed! We were held up at gunpoint! They got everything, Dad! They even took our clothes, so we didn't finish the trail! Mm -hmm. Oh, crap. We're not one of them. Wake up, Mike. We are them. Now, Gary, your father does have a point. You did lie. No, I was going to call you, Dad. Why didn't you? I, I just couldn't. It, it was just that for once I thought you were proud of me, and I didn't want to spoil that with the truth. The truth is you're a failure. Now, wait a minute, man. When I first scammed a ride on this trip, I didn't think Gary would last for more than two or three hours on the road. But he's turned out to be a real stand-up guy. And at least Gary backs me up, which is something you've never done for him. This is all your fault, guy, hippie freak. Bring it on, veiny head. I'm all right, I'm all right. Touch me again, I'll drop you like a sack of hammers. Gary... This whole disaster proves to me that at the crucial moment when a decision needs to be made, you're not able to step up and be a man. Your road trip is over, boy. Here's what we're gonna do. You will come home with me now. You will start the accounting job I got you at Northrop. And when you have paid me back in full for everything you lost with compounded daily interest, then, and only then, will you again be my son. Understood? How about it, Gary? Yes, sir. Terrific! Bringing families back together is what we're all about. We'll be right back with Donnie, who hired a hitman to kill his father, but now father and hitman have fallen in love on our Father's Day special. I am so sorry, Gary. That never should have happened. <sighs> it's okay. You know what, Mike? As bad as it was, I actually feel better now that he knows. The guilt was really freaking me out. Hey, thanks for saying what you said about me in there. Hey, I wouldn't have said it if I didn't mean it. Now, come on, let's get the hell out of here. I can't disobey him, Mike. I gotta go back and face the music. No, Gare. I got it. We'll fake your death, hide you in the trunk, and head for Mexico. I'm really gonna miss this. Drop me a line every once in a while and tell me what's going on, okay? Yeah, well, good luck, Gare. Hey, man, keep blazing the Gary and Mike trail. All right, man. You absolutely sure? Just get out of here. Later. You have failed miserably. Your road trip is over, boy! You will start the accounting job I got you at Northrop. When a decision needs to be made, you are not able to step up and be a man. 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 No! Gary. Gary. Gary! I knew you couldn't go through with it. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. When we think of the relationship between father and son, we think of a bond as strong as steel. Sometimes, sadly, that bond can be broken. We must not condemn. We must try to heal. And this just in, the winner of the Illinois Lottery is... Oh, that's right, I forgot. Oprah Winfrey. Oh, man, middle-aged, unwed black women have all the luck in this country. Dear Dad, I know I've hurt you, and I feel terrible about all that's happened. But I can't make things right between us back there until I make things right for myself out here. And that's why I'm not coming home. I need to do this one on my own. Please find it in your heart to understand. I'm hoping this letter finds you in good health. Clear! I think we got a pulse! Punch it, Mikey! 
Ain't nothing can stop us now. You got it. You're watching Comedy Central. If you thought freshman year was rough, wait till you see it animated. Stick around for undergrads. Coming up next...